Exercise and taking the tent for the walk. We we know don't have a dog, so she takes the tent. She is for hire to walk your tent anytime. <laughs> Let's hope it's a good day. Yeah, we just come from um, our pub. What pub were we at? Blue Bell. <laughs> yeah. And it's a, it's a hill actually, not a mountain. Nice path. <laughs> and steady gradients. Not too mad. Yet. Yet. And he's happy. I'm not, because I'm always grumpy apparently. Mm. The same for a friend. And look at this view. First view of the day. Oh, that's nice. Nice and cold. We've done all of this in one hour. Yeah. Look at an hour to get on this little hill. And there's another hill that seems like to come. Yeah, who cares? And that's just before the hill start. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on this first mod. There's a nice bench there. Um, you can see where we're going. Following the path all the way down and up that hill later. This Heidi, she's run the head, she's so fit at me. Because the dust clouds are growing up. I'll speed it up. When I actually feel it, put it on YouTube, I'll speed it up. <laughs> I found a little brown friend. Looks very dried out. Yeah. You try and find yourself some water here, mate. You and me both. Oh, it's a frog. Or a toad. It's a toad. What's the difference? Honestly, I couldn't tell you. It's just toads are usually that sort of shape, whereas frogs tend to be a bit more long-legged and elegant, but I might be talking nonsense. Has I happened before. Frog. I'm going to go through the deep creek. Yeah. I am hardcore. He's shunning the perfectly good bridge. Oh no, oh no, it's at least wasty <laughs> on an ant. <laughs> we remember this joyous little hike. It never looks the same on this way. It is so steep, this bit. Shockingly steep. It comes out when I turn around, but I don't think so. You remember doing this last time? We were walking with two old Americans in the race. God, did they kick our butt! Oh, yes. We're nearly to the top of that climb. So I'll give you a little view around. Is it milk great? Moving on. <laughs> it's beautiful up here, even if you're in the company of a Metzgauser. That's one way of doing these hills. I wonder whether it would take the weight of the backpack. There's Heidi coming up. Now we go over there. Then we get down to there. See ya. And just over there are the famous stones. What well, this is of you. This is us climbing down hill two before climbing up hill three. And then we have one more of those to do. But uh, these are nice and steep. <laughs> Gosler. 
alcohol. Or pinky stuff. Pink lemonade. It might be pink gin. It could be. Well, it's not. We're climbing up to the Wainstones. The last of this section's hills. And there, once again, is the hill we've just come down. Last climb of the day. <laughs> we forgot about this one. Well, sort of forgot about it. That once you're over all these hills, you drop down to the road and then you've got another big climb up before the moors start. So we're on our way into the moors. Got about eight miles left to do to the pub we would like to get to. It's what, half past four, something like that? Four. What time is it? Half as four, yeah. So, yeah, we'll get there late, but hopefully we'll get there. We're in the moors. The next eight miles are going to look very much like this. I love the moors. A lot of people find them bleak, but I just think it's beautiful. Some little grouse ducklings, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, you can see them. There they are, marching off all over the hillside. So we did make it to the pub. Not this late, by the way. We just kind of got sidetracked in doing puppy things. Beautiful sky. We're a bit late setting our tent up. Set it up and run inside, I think. That'll be it for today. Good night. Our longest day on the coast to coast starts with a briskish climb <laughs> up a hill where we sort of join the Cleveland Way for quite a bit over the moorlands and through the wood bits. It's a very lovely, lovely stage, uh, very varied. I mean, it's a lot of ups and downs, but it's also a lot of different. Um, you know, landscapes, you're dipping into woodlands and you're climbing out onto this gorgeous, gorgeous ridge. This is the really steep climb, by the way. And yeah, once you're on that ridge, it's just, if, if the weather's good, it's just views in all directions. It's just beautiful. And this is where you start the, uh, the dipping up and down over hills. We stopped briefly at Lordstone Camping Ground because they have a little restaurant there and a cafe and you can top up with water. This is the last place to top up with water incidentally there's no water ahead between there no no guaranteed water between there and um the lines in at the end of the stage so we made sure we were full this time last time we went dry and started our climbing up climbing down climbing up climbing down climbing up climbing down <laughs> the the ups are not that bad the downs on these hills are they're bone crunches and then, as we discovered, once you have finished all the, the hills, including the Wainstone, and you briefly dip down onto the road, there's another hill <laughs> that we'd forgotten about before you get up onto the moors. And then it's plain sailing. I mean, the moors are really easy going. It's, it's flat, pretty much. Um, good paths, reasonable, reasonably good wayfinding. In good visibility, it's, it's an enjoyable stretch. In poor visibility, it's never nice in moors because you're constantly second guessing where you are. But you know, we had a lovely, lovely, uh, lovely weather, and so we made really good progress across the moors. Round about here, I collapsed in a bit of a heap um, because my feet were just 
done. I mean, we've been walking for 11 days on blisters at that point, and it started to hurt a bit too much. And I sent Brian ahead, um, and then panicked about a minute later because I realized I'd sent him ahead with the GPS, the only working GPS and the only fully charged phone. And last time we did the stretch, we did it in the fog, and we kind of missed the turn off to the pub. So I was panicking that I'd do that again, so I was texting him with what was left on my phone, saying, please, 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 forget what I said, stop again. <laughs> But actually in good weather, as you can see from that one shot at the end, you can see the roof of the, the inn for miles away. There's absolutely no chance of you missing that turn up, which is just there, up a little hill, always towards the roof of the pub. And then you get to the Lions Inn. <laughs>